Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. This is, I'm, I'm going to keep saying this to you, it is so easy, so simple. This is a simple V-stitch blanket. One stitch, one row repeat and look what you get. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this stitch in this paint box yarn. This is 100% wool, and you can wash this in the washing machine. You can put it in at a 30 degree wash, and it will wash up beautiful. So I'm going to show you my sample that I did. I'll show you how to do the stitch, but I'm going to use this. And I got this on Love Crafts. Now, what I'm going to show you as well is my little blanket is 70 stitches wide. It's 70 stitches wide. You need an even number of stitches. And it's 50 rows. It's 50 rows and 70 stitches wide. And look at this, it's so pretty. So on Lovecrafts, their Carn Simply Soft yarn is only £4.29 a ball. £4.29. I was paying £7. Seven quid for a ball of yarn on Amazon. Now, so look at this. It's so pretty. So I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful blanket. And underneath the video, I will put a link to love crafts where you can get some of these yarns are absolutely you can see a light green i like this as well and i've got that lilac as well so you can get some nice really reasonably priced yarn so let's get on with this and i'll show you how to make this v-stitch baby blanket it's beautiful so i'm going to use this paint box pure wool it's a hundred percent wool it's a worsted weight so in the uk that's like it's almost like an iron weight and on this one it's a hundred gram ball and it tells you to use a 4.5 millimeter hook so i've got my 4.5 you can see that there that's a four and a half the colour of this one is pistachio green. It really does look like pistachio nuts. It's really pretty, this. And I've made stuff in this before, and it's really, really pretty. I'm going to pop that up there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a chain. And your chain is going to be made up of two stitches. So you need two stitches to do this V stitch. So I'm just going to wrap my yarn around my fingers. Pull the tail through that loop and I'm going to make a slip knot and just put it onto my hook. When you do your chain, don't make them too tight. So just pull your yarn through, give it a tiny little wriggle and we're going to do your chain in an even number, in sets of two. Sets of two would always be an even number anyway. Don't do your chain too tight. And make sure that when you do your stitch, you bring it back up here into this working area of the shaft of the needle. So I'm going to do myself a chain. Now, my little blanket had 70 stitches on it. So if you want to make one the same size, then just crochet a chain with 70 stitches. So I've got my little sample chain done. What we're going to do is we're going into the fifth stitch in this chain. One, two, three, four and five. Now the four that we're skipping will become a treble crochet on the end of our blanket. So if you're in the UK, this is a treble crochet. If you're in the USA or another country, this is a double crochet. And we're going to put two into the fifth stitch. So one, two, three, four, 
five into the fifth stitch, yarn over and do your treble crochet. That's one. Into that same stitch, do another one. So yarn over and go into that same stitch. Pull your yarn through two loops, yarn over and through another two loops. Now what you've done is you've got your first V stitch. And this is what we're going to make our blanket with. Now those four stitches that we skipped, they have made our treble crochet on the end. So every time we get to the end, we're going to do one treble crochet and that will make a nice neat edge up the side of the blanket. So what you're going to do now is skip the next stitch, skip that stitch and into this one we're going to put two treble crochets. Now if you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. So we're not doing any chain, don't do a chain, just go straight over. So just skip a stitch and go into the next one. So we're going to skip this stitch and work into this one. We're not doing any chains or anything. We're just going right over and put two treble crochets into the same stitch. So it's skip one and then two treble crochets or two double crochets if you're in the USA. There we go. Skip one and then do a V stitch. That's two treble crochets into the same stitch. And this is what you get. You get this. They look like little V shapes. So it should look like that. When you put your neck when we do the next row and we do our next V in here, it will really split those apart like that. And what you'll get is this. You'll get this really pretty pattern. It's really simple but very effective. And if you use a really if you use a double knitting, you'll get a really light blanket. You can use a bigger hook if you want as well. If you want it more open, if you use a bigger hook, then you'll get bigger stitches. So we're going to miss one and do a V stitch. That's two treble crochets into the same stitch. Skip the next one and do your V stitch all the way to the end and you do that all the way to the end of your chain. You can pause the video and come back when you've got all your V stitches in your chain. So I'll work to the end and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I'm skipping a stitch and I'm on my last stitch and I'm going to do one treble crochet. So I'm just going to go into that last stitch, remember skip a stitch, and go into my last stitch in my chain and I'm going to do my treble crochet. So what you're going to do now is you're going to chain three. One, two, three and turn. Now in between your V shape in here, you're going to put two treble crochets and that's what the repeat is going to be. You're going to put two treble crochets inside each of your V stitches. So yarn over, don't go into the top stitch, you're going into the space in between these in between these two stitches here. So yarn over and go right through. Yarn over through two loops and through your next two loops. And the same again into that same space. Now move to the next one. Yarn over and in between that V stitch, do your two treble crochets. And if you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. This is a double crochet V stitch. You're going to do that all the way along. And as you can see, 
these two make these two split open a little bit so you can see it like that and it's really pretty and it's really quick that's all you have to do now that's all you have to do is go in between your v stitches put two treble crochets in between each of your v stitches you're not skipping anything this time you only did that in the foundation row all to the next one really easy this is a really easy blanket so i'm on my last v stitch so i'll put my two treble crochets into that last v stitch there and this is the chain this is the this is the stitches that we skipped right at the very very beginning so into the top of there i'm going to put one treble crochet into that third stitch in that chain one treble crochet that's going to keep my edge all nice and neat and look at that so pretty chain three one two three and turn and then into these v stitches you're going to do another v stitch in between the ones that you've already got that's one and two move to the next one and put your two treble crochets inside that one so you're creating a v stitch on every row and to the next one one two and along and that is it that is how simple is this how simple is this little pattern now what i'm going to do is when i get to the end i'll just do a treble crochet into the top of that chain and turn and do another row so i'm going to do a few more rows on this little sample blanket and i'll come and i'll show you how to do all around the blanket i'll show you how to put the border on that i did it's really simple it's just two rows of treble crochet all around the blanket so this is what it's like with the carbon simply soft it's really pretty and i'll show you what it's like with this thicker yarn this is a pure wool this one and it's so so pretty as well and look at that it's really pretty so i'll do some I'll do a few more rows and I'll come back and I'll show you how to put a little border all around the blanket. So this is what my little sample looks like and how pretty is that and how easy, so so easy to do this and I just love it. I think it's so soft as well for a baby blanket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I finished that lilac one. And what we're doing, I'm going to go around my little sample and I'm going to do a treble crochet. That's a UK treble crochet. If you're in the USA, that's a double crochet. Now I'm right at my corner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain three. One, two and three so this area here is going to be my corner i'm going to put two treble crochets into here when i get all the way around i'm going to put two into there and that should make me go around the corner really nice so i'm going to put two treble crochets in to this area here one and two if you're in the usa this is a double crochet I'll just take some more of my yarn out the middle. Now I'm going to run down the side and it's down the side that you've got the chain and your one treble crochet down the side. Into each space I'm going to put two treble crochets. Really simple. Now I did tell you this blanket is so easy. That's two in there, two in the next space all the way down your side now your blanket obviously is going to be bigger so two treble crochets into this next space 
or double crochets if you're in the USA or another country. Work your way down, nice and even. And two fits in just perfect. And it looks like you've got little V stitches as well. Two into the next one. And down we go. I'll just work my way down to the corner. Down to the next one. Two treble crochets in each space. Two into this one. Oops, my tail end there. Now at this corner, I'm going to put two. I'm going to chain one and then put another two in. So two treble crochets. That's one and two. I'm going to chain one. I'll move my tail. I'm going to stitch my tail in along there and then put another two into that same corner that's going to bring us around quite nice just around that corner little corner and it gives you a nice little rounded edge and you've got your nice straight edge up there what i'm going to do now is into each of these V stitches, I'm going to put two treble crochets. So that's one and two. Move to the next one. I'm going to hold my tail and put that tail in along with it. You can stitch it in if you want. Along to the next one. Put two into that one. And that's taking us along the bottom of its treble crochets, but you still got your sort of little V all the way around into this V stitch here. Put your two treble crochets and the next one. Just working that end in. So I'll take that tail out of the way and I'll stitch the, la the last little bit of the tail I'll stitch in so it doesn't come out. Just move that down out of my way. <laughs> so all the way around your blanket, it doesn't matter how big your blanket's been made, you should still be able to do this. And it's just so easy. And you know what else? These sell very well. They sell very well. So if you think if you're doing a large blanket and you're only using two or three balls of yarn for it, if you're making a larger one, I mean, you can sell them for like 15 to 20 pounds. It's in really high demand for handmade, good quality yarn crochet blankets. Especially if you use a really good quality yarn. That paint box is absolutely beautiful. And they do lots of different shades. And they do double knitting as well. And they've got a cotton one as well. It's really pretty. So I'm going to do all the way along to the end. Now I'm not going too slow with this because it is just two double crochets into each of the V stitches. There's my V stitch there and that's where I'm going with my border. One and two. So I know this is a small sample. I'm just showing you how you can do your border. And this will work for, like I said already, it will work for a larger blanket. Look how pretty it is. You do this in pink or blue or lemon. Beautiful for baby blankets. And it's really pretty for a gift as well. If you make a throw. Or even a bedspread or something. So I'm at this little corner here. I'm going to put two into the corner. 
I'm going to chain one and then put another two in and that will bring me around the corner nice and neat like that and then I'm going to put two each into these spaces up the side that's one and two so this is what my little sample is looking like now so to make it go around like a corner in this space here I'm going to put two treble crochets I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to put one more in there one more and then on to the top of that chain of three I'm just going to do a slip stitch and slip that in and that's giving me a nice round corner so all you do now is just cut your yarn and then just pull it through like that and stitch in the end get yourself a darning needle and just stitch it in along there and look at that how pretty is that for a simple simple v stitch it's so pretty i really like it and this one this lilac one i did that with the karen simply soft and that is a thinner yarn that's why it looks slightly different and look at that that is so pretty that lilac is beautiful so i'll put a link in the bottom to lovecraft's website and they do Karen Simply Soft. This one, this one is Blue Mint. Oh, my light's gone. This one's Blue Mint. And this one is just a lilac. I don't have the label. Mutley pinched it. Mutley took that and chewed it up. It's terrible for doing things like that. But I'll put a link in to Lovecraft's website. It's really, it's a very fair price for yarn and it's cheaper than it's it's cheaper than Amazon and that's where I was buying all my yarn from. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just click on that subscribe button that's down in there. And if you click on that bell icon then YouTube will notify you when I put up another tutorial. So thank you again. Give it a try. It really is it's beautiful. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.